I'm going to try and be as 100% unbiased as I can. And any of you that really know me know that that's not an issue because I'm pretty much say it how I see it. Uh, but for those of you out in the internet world, you know, take it for what it is. So that being said, <clears throat> this isn't going to be a full review today because I already talked too much. Um, but maybe just an unboxing and a quick overview of my first impressions. And that product is a new tripod. And this tripod comes from the folks over at Athlon. And what do I know about Athlon? I don't know crap about Athlon. I know a lot of guys uh, at my local clubs certainly love them. I've never owned an Athlon scope. I've looked through a lot of them. Um, they seem to provide a decent scope for the money. Uh, but I don't have any real first-hand experience. What I do know is they're constantly supporting this sport. I see Athlon products on prize tables all the time. They're sponsoring events. Uh, they have a hand in this industry and I love that. I love to support those who support the sport that I love so much. So that being said, it appears that they have gotten into the tripod market. Now in the past, I've if you paid attention, you've heard me say, I'm not really a fan of the buy once, cry once um, philosophy. I think that everyone has a budget and you should get whatever was within your budget that will meet uh, at least the bare necessities of what you need. And you can move up or move on or do whatever you feel from that point. With tripods, I am kind of going to counter that and say, I think there's a minimum that you should go. I don't think it's necessarily buy once, cry once. I don't think you need to go out and buy the uh, tippy top of the line $1,800 tripod. I don't own one. You know, that's a vortex back there. I own a few Leo photos. Um, and they're, they're decent tripods. The top tier ones are awesome. Uh, I own a lot of top tier products, just not a top tier tripod. However, I did start with a inexpensive, comparatively inexpensive. When I bought it, I thought it was ridiculously overpriced and it was like 200 bucks or something. It was a Manfrotto, a, a really nice camera tripod, and it's terrible for what we do. So the minimum I would say is get a carbon fiber tripod. Um, most of these are, you know, 25 to 40 millimeter uh, leg diameters, and it gives you so much more stability. Your glass is a lot more stable. So I'm going to go against what I've said in the past, and I think you have a minimum, but uh, just try out whatever works for you. And your mileage may vary. So that being said, this is again an Athlon something, Athlon Midas, whatever that says, a CF32. So I'm guessing 32 is the leg size. I don't know a lot about the cost of these. I think they range in price 500 to eight or 900 or so, various different models. This one is a little smaller, 32 I'm assuming is a leg diameter. It is a leg diameter, and that's a little smaller than like my Vortex or uh, the couple Leo photos that I have. And I asked for this one because I'm curious about a little lighter weight. This might be a good option for like the Hunter series where I'm packing it around, so on and so forth. So based off of the box, it looks like it has some pretty cool accessories included, and that's awesome because none of the other tripods I have have accessories. So. Without further ado, let's open her up and see what we got. She's packed in there. Okay, the only thing in the box is this case. So already, uh, appears it comes with a case. It feels relatively thick. Kind of feels like some padding in there. There's a pocket that's open. There's something in it. Looks like instructions and, and, oh, and there's some spike feet in there. So that's pretty cool. They give you the spike feet. Um, compared to other cases I have in inexpensive, it well, seems like a decent case. Uh, one thing that I am concerned with uh, is like my Live Photo case is nowhere near as nice as like the Vortex one. Um, because the tripod is compact 
for shipping. And so it fits in there nice, but then when you pull it out and put a ball head on it, it has this weird goofy hood thing that goes over the top. So I don't like that, but we'll see what this one does. So let's open it up and see. Okay, we got some stuff inside here. That looks like, like oh, a rock bag or a little shelf. That's cool, they give you that. Again, back there you can see I had to purchase that as an aftermarket and they're ridiculously priced like everything in this world. It's probably 40 or $50 for that shelf. So it's nice that they give you one. Looks like a strap. Oh, this thing, oh, that's pretty neat. It has a thing to secure it. So there's the main tripod on. It looks like the ball head is actually on it. So that's cool because it fits inside there. We'll come back to this. What else we got? So there's a pocket in here. And that looks like, that looks like a leveling base. So it appears you get a leveling base and the ball head is already on it. So that's a nice option. The leveling bases are, are good for uh, like a heavier load, like if you want to put your gun on it, whereas the ball heads, in my opinion, are a little better for the uh, for mounting your glass and so on and so forth. So, ball head, looks like we have oh, something. Looks like uh, some kind of shoulder pad or a strap of some sort. I don't know why you have two of them, because there's a sling or something here with a shoulder pad already on it. You might have to read the instructions. Don't tell anyone. Uh, it has these little, I don't know, tripod chaps or something you call them. It looks like there's molly on them and a little bit of Velcro. One thing I never thought that would be important is that little bit of Velcro. I run these dope cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, on my gun and they have velcro that's how they stick to it and i have velcro on my tripod specifically to stick those two so that's kind of neat um other than that again this is the smaller thing that it looks very similar to my leah photo it's all aluminum uh, anodized aluminum i'm sure there's a release button here somewhere to pop the head Oh yeah, there we go. Quick release to pop the head out. So when you want to use a tripod as support, rear support or something on a stage, just pop the whole head off pretty easy. So that's pretty neat. You could also, I suppose, buy an extra part and change your leveling head out. Um, other than that, it looks a little bit smaller ball head but I that might just be because of the smaller model that I got compared to my other tripods the legs appear to operate pretty similar so you could go pretty far out if you want to get flat with it it looks like there's two detents that's pretty flat I don't know how flat it would actually get but Shoot, man, I bet you could probably get six or ten inches off of the ground. Um, the legs seem kind of stiff right now, but that might just be because they're brand new and broken in. And if I had to choose, I would prefer that. So one particular thing, my other tripod there, those legs loosen up and it kind of bugs me. Like through a match, I'll have to get the wrench out and tighten those. The leg sections, definitely smaller, which again, I, I chose because of light. It looks like about a quarter of a turn. Oh, I unscrewed the foot there. Looks like about a quarter quarter turn to undo the legs. There's a good texture on them, so that's not bad. Let's undo these and see, see how tall she gets. If I don't make a mess in here, I'm kind of condensed. So there we are. That's actually substantially taller than I thought that it would be. And I mean, I'm, I don't know why that's loose. I might not have that tightened down. 
I'm six foot tall, so that's clearly tall enough to put my binos on and uh, and comfortably stand beside. That's fully uh, extended on the legs. It's definitely lighter than the tripod that I currently use. And I really think that's gonna be a strong benefit. They have all these different sizes, so you can, you can get whatever size is gonna work for you. Um, and then obviously, if you're not that tall, you go shorter, and the shorter, the lower to the ground you get, the more uh, stable it's gonna be. So I think uh, right out of the gate, it, what I do like about it is uh, the case is definitely nicer than the other cases that I have. I really like that it has these accessories included. Um, not sure what that's. There's these extra straps on one of these. I'm not sure what that's for. We'll we'll cover that when we get a little more in depth. Um, but it appears to be solid. Um, very similar to the tripods I already have, and I think out of the box it that's a pretty aggressive uh, pricing structure for all the extra stuff that you get. It appears that you get. Um, that you got to buy separate for all these other tripods that's that's quite impressive so we're gonna try this out i'm i have a hunter match coming up this weekend and i might just try and take this with me and see how it does in a real world um see if the legs hold up things that that i've noticed with my other tripods and just kind of compare that so there it is athlon um they're midas 32 uh, millimeter tripod comes with the ball head it comes with the leveling head all these accessories a shelf the whole nine yards um, you can pick one up now at, at r and r tactical or you can wait and see what you think or you can do your own research and make your own smart decision so i'll check back with you after i got a little bit of time behind it and we'll see how it holds up thanks guys